hello guys in this video tutorial series we will see how to add custom array list into our recycler view app and here we will have pop-up menus when we will click on option more and this pop-up menu have two items one is edit and another is delete when we will click on delete the item will be deleted from the recycler view and we can undo this from snack bar and uh, there is a toast when we will click on edit we can perform another action with that and you can see the animation is there also when we will be deleting any of the items and let's delete the subscribe and delete the item is deleted and below we have seen the snack bar having a button undo we can we will click on that and the undo is done now let's create a project empty activity and let's name it as my app recycle and uh, let's finish this now project is loading and after loading and syncing the project is, has been synced successfully now here we will show system ui and split into code and ui i am just going to change this constraint layout into linear layout and having orientation of vertical now let's go to the design tab and here we will add this recycler view drag and drop and we have seen the pop-up just click on ok to add the dependency for recycler view and now you can see the recycler view is added now given id recycler view width and height is of match parent and now just go to the main activity to create a recycler view instance now we have to connect recycler view instance of main activity from activity main layout xml file using find view by id and now let's create a layout resource file using new and here we will create this as each item and just change it to relative layout for making each item design let's uh, create an image view first of all let's add wrap content to layout, layout height image view will be of 60 dp height and width both given id image view let's change this to 60 dp now add src mip map ic launcher and padding of this and scale type center crop image view is done now we have to add text view text view is for name for the corresponding image width and height of wrap content id is of text view and uh, to start of no text change this whatever you want this is for checking purpose we will change it later using main activity codes change this to to end of now the text is showing text color let's say black has zero zero and uh, margin start of 
ट्वेंटी डी पी सेंटर वर्टिकल टू ट्रू सो दैट इट विल बी इन सेंटर पोजिशन फ्रॉम आवर ले आउट रिलेटिव ले आउट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एड वैक्टर स्टेट इन ड्राइवल फोल्डर क्लिक ऑन इट एंड जस्ट सर्च मोर मोर दिस वर्टिकल मोर एंड क्लिक ओके जस्ट रीनेम इट मिस एंड एड अनदर इमेज व्यू फॉर बटन मोर इमेज व्यू विथ एंड हाइट आई डी गिवेन आई डी मोर मेन्यू एंड एस आर सी ड्राइपल आई सी बेस लाइन मोर एंड अलाइन पेरेंट एंड टू ट्रू दैट विल पोजिशन इट टू द एंड ऑफ द रिलेटिव ले आउट एंड पैडिंग फाइव डी पी Our item has been designed now successfully. Now create a Java class in our package having name my adapter. Just click OK and it will extend recycler view dot adapter. And here we will pass uh, my adapter dot my view holder our custom view holder that we will create. here press alt enter and create class of my view holder it will extend recycler view dot view holder and just play, press alt enter and create constructor of my view holder matching super now here we will create two variables one is for context and another is for are list that we will pass from any of the activity to use this adapter private context m context and uh, private are list now we have to create our model class means our custom class here you can pass string also but since we are using our custom model class so we will create a java class model and press enter we will create two variables one is for string name and another is for image of type int press alt insert and create constructor of t of these two variables and also get our setters and select both of this variable press okay now model class is done just close this here change this string to our model class that is m o d e r l and this package name com dot and we have to create constructor of my adapter public my adapter and uh, here we will have two arguments one is context m context and another is a list of model class list and here we will initialize the instance variable this is this dot m context equals m context this dot list equals li list the constructor is done now hover over it and press alt enter and implement methods select all press okay and uh, first of all get item method count this will return list dot size this tells our my adapter that how many items we have to add in our recycler view and this method will create the view for our items create instance of view and here we will initialize it as 
linear layout inflator from m context dot inflate r dot layout dot the name that we have created layout each item and here we will pass parent this view group and attach tool false and this will return our view holder instance new my view holder and this will be having argument of view this is our custom view holder here we have parameter in constructor view now go to the main activity and create array list of model class that we have created model and list now we have to populate this list to do this and also we are creating instance of my adapter class and here we will create a method populate list press alt enter enter and the meta method is created now i am going to add some pictures from my pc in our drawable folder here just paste this you have copied that now drawable okay okay and uh, going to refactor this rename to all lower case else it will not will be useful all are in lower case now and first of all i'm going to initialize this list using new array list and uh, list dot add new our model class constructor that means we are adding the model object and here you will first add name as programity and image as r dot drawable dot let's programity just copy this you can add in other ways also but uh, here we we are just showing to populate the list change this to android whatever you want and uh, now just copy this and going to paste it to add more items into our list now we have to initialize our object of my adapter that is my adapter equals new my adapter and here we will pass context that is main activity constant context this and our list as list that we have populated and here recycler view dot set adapter we will set this adapter my adapter and that's it we have done now recycler view dot set item an animator that will animate a new default animator that is provided by android recycler view dot set layout manager new linear layout manager and here this sets the alignment of recycler view item in vertical grid layout and in another ways here we are setting recycler view items as vertical and uh, now first of all i'm going to check if the app is running correctly or not it is showing items in recycler view you can see the items in recycler view is showing and the image view is set as ic launcher now 
we have to set the image view and names that we have populated in in our list to do this first of all in my view holder we have to create image view name it as image view and menu more and text view name now we have to connect these image view and text view with each items image view and text views using item view dot find view id menu pop up image view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot menu more here is the id that we are connecting name item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view and that's it we have connected now every time the item is created on bind view holder is called and we will set the name and image view using our my view holder object holder dot name dot set text list dot get position dot uh, get name this position will be incremented every time the get name method takes the name from our list that we have passed here in my adapter and we have to also set the image view using holder dot image view dot set image resource and here we will pass list dot get position position will be updated every time and dot get image let's run the app now you can see the app is running and here name and corresponding image views that we have populated in our list that's it for the tutorial in our next tutorial part we will add pop-up menu thanks for watching